by saying, I am not a doctor, a physician, anything like that. Just a guy that does videos and things that the videos pertain to and, and stuff like that. But I want to talk about Clip Daga. Clip Daga, also known as a Lion's Ear, um, a Christmas Candlestick, Tilly's Curse, uh, Chandelier, and uh, Granty, Granty Perini, I believe, um, or Perini, Perini. Uh, but anyway, so there, it's this, it's a, a plant, right? So there's, there's a plant, you can grow it, um, and I think it has a, a sister that's called um, something else, Daga, but I'm talking about Clip Daga for this video. And why I'm talking about this is I, I got this, my wife met up with a lady and a gentleman, or her husband, that kind of stuff, at a farmer's market, you know, some while back. And what they do is they do stuff on the natural basis of things, you know, as far as raising, you know, stuff and growing and medicinal plants, that kind of deal. Anyways, um, so she was talking to them about me and then uh, some other people, and this lady says, here, there's this thing I got, it's called Clip Daga. I grow it, and I've grown it for years, and I, I make a tincture out of it. And she said that her brother uses it for pain, and she said he said it's amazing. Um, so she passed that up. Uh, a little two ounce bottle. I wish I had it to show you. It's just a little two ounce bottle with a dropper that she made. Um, she made a tincture of, and and my wife got a little two ounce bottle of that, and said, so if there's ever your your husband needs it or you or whatever, so on and so forth. All right. So um, my wife had told me, and I'm I'm a guy who follows the uh, naturalistic thing. I, I believe in that wholeheartedly. And I believe, you know, that the um, pharmaceuticals and that kind of stuff that's out there now and has been out there for the most part ever since, you know, Rockefeller took over with the Flexner report, that kind of stuff, um, that whole ordeal. You can look and I, I suggest digging in that kind of stuff. But, and I think, well, all right, so help with pain. So I take that with a grain of salt. Well, pain, really? All right, maybe a little bit, I see. All right, I, I wouldn't compare it to some sort of heavy narcotic or morphine, that kind of stuff. But anyway, so that was my thought. So I thought nothing more. My, fast forward, my wife was in a rush one morning, and she ran out to the garden, and she has these cow panels. And long story short, that was hidden in the grass, or the weeds that was not, were not um, mowed or whatever for the time. And then see, she's rushing around, caught it, and really did a number on her leg. All right, so she got a huge scrape. Um, where, you know, some major blood was seen and then a huge uh, poke. I mean, where it went in rather deep, one of those metal prongs. And anyways, and she was in pain, that kind of stuff. And, and she, after she bandaged it, took care of it, cleaned it up, that kind of stuff, and elevated it and had problems walking on it, um, she took some of that and she was blown away at how amazing it was. Uh, and... It, couldn't say anything other than it just being great for her pain. So I, I heard that. And I was like, oh, all right, all right, I hear you. And I, I didn't take that fully. I'm still in the back of my head thinking, all right, how, how much can it really? But anyways, so that was that. So then I had this issue where I strained my back and my neck, and it was so unbearable. I, I couldn't even turn my neck. I couldn't lift my arm at times. And I didn't even want to sit. I could only sit, you know, slanted or on my left side, that kind of stuff. It was, it was horrible, horrendous. I'm so bad. I didn't feel like it could function. It, was, it went on for uh, a number of days and, and even longer than that. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm going to try this thing. And I took, uh, you know, a couple of the droppers of it. And within a half an hour, I was blown away. I was amazed. Uh, the pain went away. I, I just felt just ever so slightly a little, a little essence of it, but it, it was nothing. It was nothing. Everything went away. I, I was, I, I'm speechless. You know, I was speechless. I, I could not believe it. 
And I was like, oh, this, this has just got to be a, a fluke thing kind of deal. So anyway, so after four or five hours-ish, starts to wear off, and then the pain came roaring back, you know, as severe as it was. So I took some more. Same thing. You know, after a half an hour, after taking it, whatever, it just poof, went away. And I, I'm amazed. Um, I, I can't say anything bad about it. And it's just, it's a natural plant that you can just grow in your, your yard or, or your pot, that kind of stuff. Granted, it does get rather large. I, I, I believe seven or eight feet it can grow to the, the height of it, that kind of stuff. So it, it does take up some real estate, some space. Um, that kind of stuff, and I believe it. if it has room to grow, it's going to grow. It's going to go, that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, so why I'm saying this is because I just want to share this. I, I was, it was so great for me and my wife. I, I just want to share this thing. And so, anyways, fast forward uh, a few more weeks, and my wife and the family are at a graduation party, and my wife's dad and her uh, stepmother's there, that kind of stuff. And we're telling tell him about it. And I know he takes um, your over-the-counter stuff for his back, that kind of deal, for his pain that he yeah, he's always going through. And he's been contemplating back surgery again, that kind of deal. And she has issues with her lower extremities, that kind of stuff. And so she's telling him, and we had it with us. So it's the way he took it. And they took the uh, tincture of it you know, the droppers, and they were blown away too. How well it worked. I mean, that it just, everything was gone. It, they Nothing was there. And um, so much so, her dad says, can you get me some? Uh, I talk to whoever you know and see if you can get me some. If she's making more tinctures, if she has more, I will buy some. I'll purchase some, <laughs> excuse me, from her. And then his other comment is, if I can get by with this and I don't have to be on over-the-counter medications, that kind of stuff, and, and I'm, I'm not going for surgery again. If, I, if I'm just taking, just doing this, it's like, this is amazing. And um, so that's, that's our, our stories here that we have for this thing, and it's, it's great. Um, so anyways, I just want to go over a couple of things in regards to this. Uh, most common applications that I found out, when, now I've been researching once I found out how great it worked and know more about it, um, are, are for fevers, headaches, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> gastrointestinal disorders, malaria, uh, malaria, dysentery, and snake bites. That's the most common application people take it for other than pain. And um, I know there's, it's, it's anti-inflammatory and hypoglycemic. Um, because of that fact, uh, people use it for, they call it a herb, um, to manage with their arthritis. Um, they help manage their diabetes. Um, it helps some people uh, with symptoms of irregular heartbeats. Um, it will calm the palpitations. Um, and uh, there are many, many, many more uses for this. I urge you to look it up. It's clip, K-L-I-P, uh, Daga, D-A-G-G-A. -G -G -A. And um, I just, I mean, the leaves can be made. Uh, you can use that to make teas, or you can, you know, use that, the, the pots, or the, the pots, the potted, they're called pods, or whatever, the, the flowers of this plant will be used along with the leaves, that kind of stuff to make your your teas or your tinctures or whatever you want. Um, I suggest look into that even more too if you're interested. Uh, I just, I mean, that's all I'm talking about is this and I'm, I'm just, that's how much it has um, really benefited us in our situation and those we know who have taken it. And it's, it's amazing. It is amazing. If you have the room, you can grow it. Um, learn to make a tea or tincture, share it, help people, that kind of stuff, to get off some of those bad pharmaceuticals with side effects, that kind of stuff. This doesn't have really any of that. I mean, it's nature's, nature's herb, nature's plant, you know. 
So I suggest just look into it if you're interested. Um, but anyways, if you like this, hit the like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, as always. Um, and as always, stay vigilant. Protect yourself, protect your family, protect your wealth, and